I'm working out right here in the middle of Rodeo Drive. And you're probably asking yourself, why? Because I took a little nap earlier and my gym closed at 11 o'clock, but I have to be there at 10, so to work out one hour, couldn't make it. So right now, at least, I'm doing a little walk all the way around Rodeo Drive for one hour. So, you know, walk a little bit fast, so you start sweating a little bit. And I thought I might gonna do like a little video. Why not? Somebody left their latte right here on top of the trash can. That's at least a $5 latte. Was that your latte you left here? Man, a lot of noise here. A lot of activity here on Rodeo Drive in front of the Gucci store. They just uploaded a container for trash. Vacheron Constantini getting a new makeover. And that's going on here at 11 o'clock at night on Rodeo Drive. I guess some of them on break. They have a carpet over there. They're cutting a carpet. Should I try to get a piece of the carpet? Man, look how the inside, look, they tear everything down. It's probably gonna be a brand new store in there. And right across the street is the Cartier store. It's closed for a while already. Looks like they're also putting something up in front. So they're gonna redo the whole front, I think. Maybe this is not so important to show you an update what they do here on Rodeo Drive, but why not? Now you know that they're going to remodel some of the stores on Rodeo Drive. And the building looks so nice to me. Looks like they're going to redo the whole thing here. Wow. I mean, I don't know how long they've been working on this building here, but I didn't even realize that they were working on it for the longest, but it's almost done. Looks really nice. Nice car. Even at night you see some nice cars here. And security. Look, this is all marmor here. Should I get a piece of a marmor store from Beverly Hills? Nah, I'm not that crazy. There's more here. Look at the marmor piece here. It's a marmor piece from a store in Beverly Hills. Wow. Some people never get to Beverly Hills, and I'm here, and I actually got a marmor piece. There are Gamo. Look, all that space in the window, and they only display one purse. What? See, you can work on everywhere. And you get to look in the window and see what they have for sale. Have you ever worked out in front of a Gucci store? No. Whew. I'm thinking climbing up the palm tree here would be a good exercise too. But I don't think I can do that. I think that's a brand new store, Loaf. I've never seen it before. Look at all those beautiful flowers and the different colors. Nice setup. Nice handbags. New display at Louis Vuitton. Man, look at those boots. Just imagine your girlfriend is 5.4 and she's wearing boots like this or shoes like this. I think those are actually men. Would they look good on me? I don't know. times I could actually touch my knee I gotta work on that one did you take pictures of me it looks like an old potato sack 
How much should I charge for that here at Fendi? Ah, it looks good though. get to break a sweat and you get to see all the beauty around you. Look at those lion hands. Nice, huh? Whoa. What? Is Versace stealing my swag? Look at this. He got a fanny pack. Just like the GIV. Look at those shoes. I can actually see myself wearing this for the Oscars and looking for Miss GIV. That would be a good outfit for her too. I think 70% of all my viewers are men, so I got to show something for the women. They love shoes and bags, I think. Let me show some bags too. So hopefully we're gonna get more women to watch my channel. Man, I don't know much about fashion, but it looks like those pants are way too long. Via Rodeo. Too bad they closed this area off. I actually wanted to run up here in an incline like 50 times. I can't do it. Hey, what's up? What are you looking at, huh? Statue looks good. On Cleef, they're working a lot on those buildings. Rodeo Drive. Dolce and Gabbana. And of course, a lot of people do not like Kim Kardashian. But I have to say, Kim, you look good. You look good in that suit, whatever that is. And you can actually have it too. It's right there. Doesn't say a price, but you can be a, what is that, a leopard? It's a cool outfit. What's up, Kim? I don't think you watched the GIV, but maybe one day you will. What's up, Kim? I like this display here. I don't think it's a car, but it's some kind of metal compressed. That would be a nice table in the living room with some glass on top. Bottega Veneta, good job setting up that table. That is also a very good picture. Nice composition. Don't believe me, I was just making that up. You gotta move your head and loosen up. Well, you can't get dizzy doing this. What did that guy just say? I think he was laughing about the GIV. That's okay, you can laugh at me, man. I don't care. I'm doing my thing. Where is she going in the middle of the night? Is there anything good in there we can use? Look, they throw everything away here. Kind of looks like Christmas a little bit with all those little lights on the palm trees, huh? But it's gonna take a while until Christmas. Maybe I'm starting a new fed. Working out on Rodeo Drive. All those good looking women gonna work out here on Rodeo Drive in the middle of the night. And it's free. Those guys are working fast. And believe it or not, I'm sweating. That was a good workout. I can feel my legs. I haven't been working out my legs for a while, but I'm still gonna walk a little bit around.
What is he mad about? Giorgio Armani has a good setup here with all the lights. Nice. Maybe this workout thing catches on. Working out with the GIV on Rodeo Drive. Monkey see, monkey do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha, 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 ha. Look at him, he don't even move. This Matchbox Porsche Carrera is only 195. Tonight is Wednesday night and they do have the bar and nightclub up there. Still people here. See, just a couple of days ago, I was standing right there with Tico and this is where they had the Vanity Fair party. Now we can walk around here, no security, huh? Just a little too late. They still not done tearing everything apart yet. I was really busy the last couple days. I didn't have time to say thank you to all the people that supported me on my PayPal account. And also thank you so much for this family from Australia. They came by my store, I wasn't there and they gave a whole bunch of license plates from Australia to my neighbor. I got it, I got your email address, I just didn't have time to write you back yet. Hopefully you're gonna see this video. Thank you so much for the license plates, I really appreciate it. And I also wanted to say something else. Thank you for watching all my Oscar videos. It always looks so easy, you know, go to the Oscars and film. I've been, I've been there three times, up to the uh, Man's Chinese Theater and filmed it. So you have to drive there half an hour, maybe sometimes longer because the traffic was so bad on the day of the Oscars. It took me forever to get there. You have to find parking. It seems like it's so easy to go there, but it's like three days are gone. I had a blast doing that and people write, Mike, why are you so obsessed with the celebrities? Why you worship the celebrities? I do not worship the celebrities. I don't think they're better than us or worse than us. I think, uh, that Fraser guy who won the Oscar is a really nice person. People say, oh, they don't really care about us. You know, that little kid from Goonies, he won the Oscar. He was so happy. He seems like a really nice guy. So I can't really say anything about the celebrities. It's just, it feels really bad when you're there in the fans and you can't even get close. All the people are pushing you, but it's always fun. Even when I came here with Tico and I looked at the celebrities across the street, it is fun. You live in Los Angeles and you just want to take advantage of it. You know, the Oscars, a lot of people said, oh, we don't even watch the Oscars, but we watch your channel, GIV. Thank you so much for supporting the GIV. And uh, I didn't watch the Oscars either. I just watched the highlights, but all the things around is fun to do. You know, you get to meet so many nice people. When you were here, we're standing here talking to the paparazzi guys, talking to the girls that are here. You know, it's fun. And even if you're up at the Hollywood uh, Boulevard, you get to meet new people. People recognize you from my videos. They really appreciate it. And I got another piece of the carpet. People don't understand. They say, what are you going to do with the piece of carpet? Are you really going to keep it? Of course I'm going to keep it. Those are memories. You know, I remember when I was a kid watching Oscars, when Sylvester Stallone got the Oscar. And I was like, oh my God, maybe one day I can be somewhere around there where they actually do the Oscars. And for me, that little piece of carpet, it's, gonna, it's in my living room and I look at it and it makes me feel good. Whatever makes you feel good is important, you know? Even whoever inspires you, whatever actor inspires you, you don't have to like, you know, go crazy about the celebrities. But for some reason, if they inspire you and make their, your life better, that's all it takes. Maybe I inspire some people working out on the Rodeo Drive, which is crazy, but you know, maybe one person's gonna start working out. You never know. So that's all I wanted to say. I appreciate you guys supporting me and I'm in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills! Like that little guy said, Mom, look, I won the Oscar. Mom, look at me. I'm in Beverly Hills. Almost got a tear though. Don't forget, peace, love, and happiness. Look at this, they're watching the GIV every step. I'm just doing a video, man. It's all good. I'm not doing anything wrong. 
And yes, Beverly Hills is beautiful. In daylight and at night. I love it. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from Beverly Hills. Looking at that nice, beautiful Beverly Hills sign. Once again, I did it. First, I didn't feel like working out, but I'm glad I did it. It looks like a little exercise I've been doing, but at least I'm doing something. I broke a sweat and I walked a lot and walking is the best exercise. That's what people say. You maybe hear the noise. There's actually a nightclub up the stairs right there. So people are making some noise. If you happen to like this video, just give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell. And maybe we're gonna do another video working out in Venice Beach or working out at the Hollywood sign underneath the H. I'll see you guys later. Tschüssing.